Hey there everyone, we are going to be going into the Countess. The reason why I'm bringing along a crap ton of supplies is uh, two reasons. In case I finish this really well, I might go fight a crocodile. And in case I don't do this well, I'm bringing enough stuff along to debuff, prevent blight and bleed, and to cure blight and bleed, and uh, a lot of blood because I got three members who need it, and I'm going to be constantly buffing them. Shovels and all that, and I brought a lot of food along because I should be sitting right outside a campfire, which we're going to take advantage of. So everything I brought is indeed important. It's just... Gotta get through it. Uh, so... Where the heck am I? Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of a walk, but while I'm walking there, I'm gonna pretty much explain what the heck I'm thinking here. Uh, yep, so this is gonna be my campfire wood right here. And then we're going to... Uh, paid for in blood. I should probably feed them now. Just a lot of turns to walk, and I'm not sure when they'll technically die. So I guess we'll bloodlust them now. I kind of wanted to wait because they get that 25 speed and uh, 25 damage and 4 speed. However, we can't have someone just uh, plopping over on me. I, I did not bring plenty, plenty of torches, actually. I'm going to save those. Because we'll get a lot more stress around here and stuff. But also, uh, craving. So many spaces. We'll see what happens. Kidding, I don't want her dying. That would be a nightmare if she just suddenly dropped. And I don't know if it's like actions in turn. We're walking the mechanics of... Um, the Crimson Court are a little weird, and I'm not exactly always sure how they uh, technically work. Uh, we'll try this. We'll try to disarm with them. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure how they always work. I know it's after a certain amount of actions, but I don't know if you call a block an action. And if you do, well, bleh. Now, the interesting thing is I backed out through this door. Hopefully, I can go through this door. Uh, there's one red key. But I'm hoping I can do that. If not, there's going to be a video skip. And nah, it's open. Okay. Yeah, so they just went to passive. So it is a certain amount of walk. So if I really wanted to, I could keep walking until these people went to wasting. Which, at that point, that's way too much work. We're not going to worry about that. So, we, But we are going to campfire right here. We're going to do the max food just to get rid of some last couple of chances of stress here. Rats in and we'll be increasing the HP and all that, and protection, and uh, preventing a nighttime ambush, and also reducing the stress on the Vestal, and that's pretty much that. Alrighty, and then we will be heading on our way there. We'll try our best tra trap disarmor, which is what, 120? You're probably our best, yeah. Yeah, the 120 is our best chance. Obviously, a bunch of people, you can give them blood and stuff. Uh, I'll just show you what happens. Give them blood. Oh, wow. Okay. Usually, you don't get items that good, but I guess... The... Ah. Well, best chance didn't work out there. That's okay. It was just damage. That's not terrible, actually. I was going to have her eat some food anyways, so that's pretty good. Depending on how this fight goes, I'll just get all the trinkets and stuff. Like I said, it's all really contingent upon... If this fight goes horrible or not. And usually I wouldn't eat until like their complete max health. But this is a special case. Get that on. Uh, get all these people popped. It's not that it'll help too much. But okay. So. Pretty much we got higher bleed chance. Large HP pool. So we can try to use that. Make sure these individuals have pierce. That's pretty much all they're going to be using. So yeah. So what I did was put a higher speed shield breaker in the back here because she's going to go first and she's going to pierce kicking her back and then she's going to pierce kicking her back and they'll keep cycling until they get shuffled by this boss inevitably. And this guy's just going to be using punish and also uh, redeem to catch anyone else. And she's got two pure healing items to just pretty much keep divine gracing and divine comfort. So let's get this party started. I hate this boss. Oh gosh, look at her. Yep, so let's let's go. 13 damage. Nope, that needed to be a crap ton higher. Yeah, 18. It's decent. We probably need... I'm just going to chip her. I can't even stun her. 
Yeah, it's... Ugh, I think this is where you start shuffling, which is actually terrible. Oh, that's right, they do one random move. Oh, look at that, 30. Yep, he moves to the back, of course. Oh, and he got blighted. And they, they all... Oh, they all got blighted, which is phenomenal, because, um... Somehow... Even with all those stuff on, they still have... So this is what I'm saying, this boss is just... Special friggin' place in my heart, man. It's just, I don't understand it. Yeah, it's just so many turns. So many. Yeah, yep. Yeah. It's just so frustrating. Oh my gosh. Especially when the game knows, like, what you're trying to do. It's just... Holy crap, how am I supposed to beat this if I literally can't? Like, this is actually a decent party composition in the terms of, like, row versus seven with all that healing, but whatever. We'll just have to do it. So hopefully we get some, like, crits and stuff in here soon because she's about to go into this bullcrap mode here and... Bleh. Okay, at least she's, like, shuffle forward. There we go, 22 damage. Yeah, I'm a little ticked off on how coincidental all of those um, shuffles were. They're like, oh, it's just perfect. You just keep moving right to where no one can attack. Oh, really? Yeah, like that. Come on, man. I'm not going to be able to do it, man, if she keeps doing that. I And she keeps focusing one person. Please don't stun. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. This does not appear to be the run. Oh, gosh. I mean, I've gotten through 80 HP. I need a crit, which I'm just not getting. This is a very bad time not to get crits. At least I'm getting my bleeds off. It'll help a little bit, but... Thank you. We need a couple more of those, and I think we can get this fight done. I'm gonna... I'm essentially going to tough it out until someone dies because, well, I really don't feel like coming back into this fight. So we're just going to try our best to, um, and what I should be doing is actually popping some blood because they, I believe they get some extra benefits from that. And it might be time to pop holy waters again. Yeah. Um, okay, we only have one person shuffling. But yeah, they need those. Okay, well, yeah, that's crap. Oh, uh, once one of those love letter things explode, you're gonna... <laughs> so I can't heal. Oh, that is so frustrating. That is beyond frustrating. Yeah, this, uh, this boss, it's just... I don't honestly know sometimes what they're thinking when they design this piece of crap boss. I know some people said it's balanced and fair, but it just, it gets so many turns. It doesn't follow normal game mechanics, and it just, it throws everything out of whack, and I hate it. I just despise this boss. Another dodge, you gotta be shitting me. And I'm not getting criticals, man. I'd like, oh, that a dust door. Okay, at least she can heal. Now, at least it's a crit. Oh, gosh, really? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure what to say. I need, like, I need some dodges and stuff. I need some dodges, I need some crits. I need a lot to go right right now. Uh, 12 damage is not going right. Throws of XC, I think that's a stun. She can't get stunned. That, that's probably a dead person. Well, I mean, we have her at 200 HP. The problem is I'm at 60 stress on everyone, and I still can't get full on. Oh, great, then that happens. Like, critical. 12 damage, seriously. Yeah, I... That's a such a fortunate dodge. Oh, and then this happens. 
another blight. Didn't I use a... Oh, I didn't. Well, I guess that's all me. I should have used a... um. What's that called? I'm reading the words right now. Oh, this one's going to hit. The oh my gosh, that is beyond lucky. Three love letters to the same person. Get the frick out of here. Three. Vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. I think she dies if she attacks, because you take damage, so I shouldn't even attack. I guess my best move is, like, to indirectly skip my turn. Like, what What horrible luck is that? Because I think they do four damage when you attack, so I guess I'll move backwards. Because I can't attack where I chance her dying. Oh, gosh, come on. See, the flush condition is like, I feel like where the designers were thinking, they're like, oh, well, once she goes flush, this is when you can take your opportunity and hit her. She stays like that for like a round. And then she's back. See, like, I had one round to take advantage of quote unquote her flushed status. And that's just not enough. It's just, I don't know. I mean, we can get her, I think think I we're probably gonna lose somebody if I don't get some criticals either in the um, healing department or the damage department there we go because she's gonna do some thirst here probably at least two oh freaking death door seriously don't attack her there we go yeah see this is what I need this is right here this is the little bit of RNG love I need mother flipping I can't all uh, right she's dead I mean, it's a fortunate dodge, but I can't imagine the game's going to be nice and not attack her at least once. She gets four actions. Holy crap, she might live. If I throw her to the back, maybe I resist it. I don't know. Oh, critical 40. Oh, this game. Oh, makes me so happy. Up here it is. Yep. Flippin' knew it. Flippin' knew it. I'd be like, what would really ruin me? That. Okay, we can do it two people, maybe. Maybe. Thank you. I need criticals just on everybody because it gets me more bleed turns, obviously more raw HP damage turns. Uh, hopefully she uh, decides to love letter. Sway, stop it, stop it. This is such an annoying ability. I totally forgot about it and I don't know why. Oh, uh, all of their resolves. Well, they're probably all dead. Behold, Can't really foresee this going well. Is made manifest. How much HP? 80? I mean, it's it's possible. Yeah, it's possible. It's not great, but... Well, it's what I was gonna do. Yeah, I mean... It's possible. This is... Blah, 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 blah. No, never mind. I, I said it was possible. It's not when literally no one in my party is going to do damage. Oh, rip party. Come on. Dude, stop with the 12 damage. Just stop. No, no, get my fledgling up. No, oh, he doesn't want to follow. Zero damage, can't even stun. Should've just healed. That's a frustration move, that was stupid. Yep, that was pure frustration. Yeah, that, that was frustration. Can't be making stupid moves like that. Reign of Sorrows, really. I mean, at least it's an attack ability. Oh, I'm so close. It's not gonna die because she's gonna thirst, but it was so close. I still might be able to do this. Just no criticals on the thirst heals. No criticals. That's all I'm asking for. Oh god, this boss. Whatever. I say she he's not the one on death's door, don't care. Just miss the thirst. Miss it, miss it, miss it. Oh she has zero dodge, that's not missing. Just no critical. 45 HP though, I think that's probably. Oh, what do I need to go right? I need like two criticals. Actually, wait, that's 10 HP. Ow. 
It's 10 HP removed though, so you know, it's not the end of the world as long as he doesn't do a move without. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yes. Oh god, that boss is such bullcrap, like... Oh, such bullcrap. Oh, I hate that boss with the passion. I still don't have a surefire way. I'm sure someone out there does. I try not to watch videos on it and stuff, but, I mean... There's gotta be a better way than losing a person. RNG, in a weird way, helped me in the end because... He gave me the critical strike from the, um... Will spread no further from the flagellant, whoever the heck that was. I don't remember. I was so pumped. And so, How many lepers do I got coming up? One, two, two lepers. Well, let's get rid of the low leper. Especially with that bad quirk. Granted, you're going to have three bad quirks, aren't you? None of them are terrible, though. I like me some lepers. But how many vestals do I have coming up? Like, none. Oh. Should probably have, like, just one more vestal. Having an occultist coming up, having another occultist, but now, yeah, we'll bring up a, a, well, we'll just wait then. All right, thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, let me know if you guys have like a surefire way that you're like, oh, I've, you know, hardly ever gone to death's door and all that. Um, I don't, that's the problem. I just don't know enough. I don't know if the shuffle in this game makes you go from like first to back or whatever, like if it. I really need to just sit down and like read the Wikipedia one day for the people who were smarter than me just sat there and figured it out because it was really just a shuffling that ruined me. It was nothing else because it just kept taking my people out of range and that party isn't the best at getting shuffled but it's also not the worst. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you want I guess a way to do it without minutes arms cheesing that is technically a way though I still lost someone so maybe not the best obviously. Have a great day.